Links to the source code and text version of this video in the description. Godot comes with a variety of built-in collision shapes that are easy to configure, but sometimes you want something more like the artwork representing it, and drawing individual collision polygons by hand can either be a hassle or just not a good fit for you, especially if you want to take a more programmatic approach. But Godot does come with options for generating collision polygons from an image both in the editor and via code. Let's take a look. So let's start out with the happy path. You have a sprite that won't change at runtime and want to get a collision shape that matches the artwork. In this case, we can use a tool built right into the editor. Just select your sprite, select sprite from the viewport toolbar, and select create collision polygon 2D sibling. This will open a window showing your sprite and the collision polygon Godot will generate. You can adjust the shrink and grow factors if you want a buffer within or outside of the shape, but simplification is the real star of the show. This value adjusts the level of detail in the resulting polygon. Higher values generate a simpler shape, while lower values generate a more defined shape at the cost of more vertices. Play with this until you have a value you like, selecting update preview as necessary to see your changes in this window, or even just generating a polygon and looking at it in the editor since this process is generally quite fast. Once you hit create collision, Polygon 2D, you'll have a new collision polygon at the same level of the active scene as your sprite. From here, you can use on any physics body you like, letting you quickly generate complex physics shapes. This is also a great choice when you want non-rectangular buttons, since you can put this shape on an area 2D and listen to mouse events. And so the editor technique works great, but we don't always have a simple static scene to work with. Maybe the user can customize their character, and you'd rather not pre-generate collision shapes for every possible graphic. Maybe you're doing some procedural content generation and need to also generate collisions procedurally, or maybe you just prefer to do things via code. The secret to this is the opaque to polygons function in the bitmap class. The current docs are a bit non-existent, but going to the latest branch of the docs shares some additional details. This function takes the data in a bitmap object and generates polygons to cover the area desired with a given level of detail. So all we need to do is get our data into a bitmap object and we're good to go. And while you can generate the data manually, let's instead just look at how we can get the data from a sprite into a bitmap. Another function on the bitmap class that will come in handy here is the create from image alpha function. As the doc state, this function will generate a bitmap that matches a given image, taking into account transparency as defined by the given alpha threshold. If you're just using a basic image on a sprite, then the sprite will have an image texture as its texture. This texture does not contain the actual image data we need, but getting that is trivial. Assuming our code is running on a sprite, all we have to do is texture.getData. Once we have our data, we can work backwards through the steps I've outlined already. Get the image of our texture, create bitmap data from the image, and then generate collision shapes from the bitmap data. And just like we did with the editor's simplicity parameter, we can adjust the second parameter, epsilon, to set how detailed our generated polygons should be. As always, pick this based off of your desired balance between performance and accuracy. Once you have polygons you like, you can add each one to a collision polygon 2D node wherever you need. We've looked at this previously with polygon 2D and line 2D nodes, but let's go ahead and review the process real quick. For instance, today's sample project has code to create both rigid body 2D objects and simple objects with an area 2D that can detect a mouse over event with pixel perfect precision. The mouse over code consists of our three lines plus some additional code to create a collision polygon 2D node for each generated polygon and attach it as a child of the Area 2D node. This technique also works very similarly when you're working with a rigid body 2D node, so check out the sample project if you want to see what that looks like. And one other final thing to note is that while this method does handle concave objects, it does not handle objects with holes in them, such as this cog. If you need holes to be represented, you can use the first parameter in opaque to polygons to define regions of the bitmap to turn into polygons, and then piece these chunks together. But that's left as an exercise for the viewer. And that's it! This is something that I have personally struggled to figure out in past projects with the code method in particular, so hopefully this helps some of you out as well. Check out the documentation and the sample project if you want to learn more.